Hey guys, Brickcoin here with an awesome 2014 LEGO Star Wars set to review for you guys. This one is set number 75052, Mos Eisley Cantina. It has 616 pieces and it does cost about $70, but this set is so cool. It is a remake of a set that they made 10 years ago, which I have reviewed in the past. Uh, but I think this one is going to be absolutely fantastic. So let's build it. you get in this set is Han Solo and as you can see he does have a little bit of back printing and he also has a double-sided face and he does come with that little blaster you see there also. Next in this set is Luke Skywalker and he does have some nice printing on the front and also on the back and he does come with the double-sided face and he does come with his lightsaber as usual. And we also have Obi-Wan Kenobi, who also has nice front and back printing. However, he does not have a double-sided face. He just has the one face you see there, and that is it. And here is our new and updated uh, Greedo minifigure. I think he is pretty cool looking. I really like the old one also, but the new one looks fantastic too. And this is the Sand Trooper you get in this set. He has a printed cape, which is very cool. And I think he's pretty detailed. Um, I really like the pack on the back and everything. Just a very, very awesome new figure. And finally, we have our Bith Musicians. You do get three of these guys in this set, which is awesome. And every time I look at them, I cannot help but think of the Ood from Doctor Who. They also look just like that, and you could definitely make this into a custom Ood. So this is the new do-back that you get in this set, and it looks really, really cool. It is much more detailed than the old one. You can see even the spots on there and things like that. And it does open its mouth, and you can see the teeth inside there, and the teeth are also printed on the top part there. They're actually textured on the bottom, but they're printed on the top. And you've got this little spot where the sand trooper can ride it, which is awesome. And it also comes with some pieces, so you can take all of this off. I can just get this whole little spot off of there. It comes with four of these, so that you can just fill this in like so. And then you just have just the do back, which is awesome. I love that they did include it like that so that you can do that and just have a do back if you want to. And this is the new land speeder. It does look really cool. It, although it does have quite a few stickers on it, as you can see, stickers everywhere, uh, but it does look pretty cool. You can see here's the back end. And this whole section lifts off. Well, if I can, there we go. It <laughs> lifts off like that is how it's supposed to work. And you have like a little storage space. I just put his lightsaber in there. Kind of a handy little spot to use for that. Just pops back on like that. And then here's the front end. And that's a little sticker under there and stickers on the engine pieces also and as you can see you have two dark gray engine pieces and then over here it's the light gray which is awesome i'm glad they did that so pretty pretty cool new land speeder if you ask me so here is the new cantina 
it is much larger and more detailed than the original which is very very awesome I like this one a lot and you do have uh, the musicians over here which is very cool and you can see each one has their instrument and down here we have the famous famous scene and you can actually slide all of that out which is awesome but I have to ask the age-old Star Wars question who shot first and I'm not gonna say my opinion but I want you guys to share yours in the comments below and I'll go ahead and give you a closer look at all of this down here you can see how they each have their chair there and they've both got their guns pointed at each other so you know it's up to you guys who shot first and like I said we have the musicians over here which I'm actually gonna move a couple of these guys out of the way so you can see the rest of the set you can see all around them it's a pretty detailed set uh, also you have the bar scene over here which uh, if you're a Star Wars fan um, and you're familiar with the bar scene let me know who is missing from this scene who should we have had as many figures just for that part and go ahead and look at the back real quick this is the part that you can move forward and back to control both of those uh, front sections at the same time and you do have this that moves around and you can fold this whole part together into just one small building like this it's kind of interesting and you can see through the bar there and you can open this back up and there's the door to the cantina that you can slide out like this and you can let them go in and that whole part folds open like that also and this roof part you can lift up like that you can see inside a little bit better you've got a couple chairs in there nothing too fancy in that part but all in all this is a very very cool new cantina I like it a lot and like I said, it's much, much better than the old one. And if you want a comparison, be sure to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Click here to check out the review of the classic Cantina. And don't forget to comment, like, favorite, and subscribe.